In this video, I take you on a photographic journey from California to New York, across the United States, focusing on small town America. Well, it is Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. So, being the good dad that I am, I agreed to drive my son's car from Los Angeles back to New York so he could have it for the summer. Unfortunately, we had bought him a used Kia Soul, not a BMW. So, it was a bit of a sacrifice, but I figured I would bring my camera and I would make a photo journey out of it, which is what I did. Um, my focus really was on parts of America that I normally don't get to see and most of us don't. If you look at a map of the United States, you know, in total, uh, on the computer you'll see all the states outlined and some of the bigger cities, you know, Houston, New York, Dallas, LA, um, and as you zoom in, you'll start to see the smaller towns. And as you zoom in even further, you see individual streets. And this stuff is generally invisible. It's lost. And so I wanted to kind of discover lost America, some of these smaller towns, and document that on my journey. So tag along, starting in California, heading east. This is what transpired. Hey Siri, set alarm for 4 a.m. I turned on your 4 a.m. alarm. Well, I left nice and early, my first morning out, and uh, made it up to Barstow, California, just around sunrise, and uh, just checking out Route 66, which goes through Barstow. Just saw this great Motel 66 sign, kind of classic. So I'm gonna go uh, see if we can get some shots of that. Hey, if you do like this video, the best thing you could do is click that thumbs up button and give me a like. And if you do like this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Well, there are some amazing old hotels and motels on Route 66. And my eye is really attracted to some of these classic spots. So. Trying to make some progress, but I keep stopping and taking shots. This is uh, El Rancho Barsto behind me. Don't know the history, but pretty cool. Ludlow, California, a tiny little town, and I really stopped for this one old gas station, which I am looking at right now. Let me turn the camera around, I'll show you what I'm looking at. So it's this old abandoned gas station, but it's really cool. One, I guess, two trucks parked in front, and so uh, the light's still pretty low. It's only about 7 a.m., and so I'm just... Uh, making my way around here trying to get some cool shots
heading up Route 66 to my next destination, and I just got caught uh, with this train crossing. It's a really long train. I'll be here for a little bit. I made it to Amboy, California, right on Route 66, and there are some great things to shoot here. A uh, place called Roy's Cafe and Motel, which looks fairly abandoned at this point. And there's an old gas station cafe too, that uh, just real classic stuff. So I'm gonna get some shots of this and, uh, and move on. By the way, I will put all of these locations in the comments down below so you don't miss any of these spots if you happen to be in this area. Valley, Arizona. Uh, it's just a small town on Route 66. There's a kind of an old gas station behind me, uh, which you can see that I'm going to shoot. I'm going to drive around a little bit. It's a tiny little town. This might be the only subject, but uh, you know, not a bad evening to go for a drive. So uh, I'll take some shots here. See, the only issue is there's this car parked here. If it was an old Ford pickup truck it might be better but uh, it happens to be a Nissan which doesn't really help me so I'll see if I can compose it so that uh, that car is not in the shot. Well, next day, another early start. I drove to Seligman, Arizona, another small town. Uh, some really classic spots on Route 66. So you got that cool sign behind me, uh, the motel sign. Um, I'm gonna make my way around. The sun just rose, so I'm a little late, but uh, hopefully I get some good light hitting some of these buildings and some of these signs and uh, hopefully get something good. Okay, made it to the next town. Sorry, a little bright in my eyes here. Uh, Ash Fork, Arizona. Tiny little town, some cool motels. Just gonna stop, take some shots here. I don't think there's too much to shoot. And uh, I'll keep moving east. So I'm making some good progress. I'm in Williams, Arizona now. Uh, the landscape has changed around here. Less desert-like and more trees. But this is a really cute, kind of old western town. Uh, Route 66 goes right through it. And uh, some cool shops, old gas stations, uh, hotels. So typical stuff, but uh, it'll be a quick stop and I'll keep, uh, keep moving on. I am standing on a corner 
in Winslow, Arizona, believe it or not. Such a fine sight to see. Uh, another town I'm driving through. I got some shots already uh, when I got off the highway. I'll put those up now. But just kind of a nice, uh, another small town I'm driving through. Route 66 goes right through Winslow, Arizona. Um, I'll stay here a little bit, get a cup of coffee, and move on. That big stone, I bought one, yeah. You know, one of the challenges for a trip like this is, you know, I gotta keep moving during the day. Uh, I prefer to shoot early and late, right? But I'm gonna hit some towns middle of the day, so the light is not gonna be particularly good. Kinda like this. Uh, so you do with what you can, right? I'll uh, try to find the best angles and see what I can do in post, but detracts a little bit from some of the images. Well, I made my way to Holbrook, Arizona, and there's some great classic spots in Holbrook, the best of which is the Wigwam Motel, which you can see behind me. They got a bunch of these Wigwam rooms with classic cars parked in front, so got to take some pictures of this stuff. This is great. I am in New Mexico, uh, in Gallup, New Mexico, uh, about 90 minutes from my last town, and I'm still on the outskirts of town, but you follow Route 66, and it's kind of run down, but very interesting to look at, honestly. See this uh, motel sign behind me, I was just shooting that. Uh, I gotta get into town and get some lunch, but uh, I keep stopping every five blocks or so just to take shots. Uh, Interesting subject matter here. Well, good morning. So I stayed in Albuquerque last night and I'm heading east. And I stopped in a small town called Moriarty. Still kind of dark. I'm gonna kind of keep moving, but uh, I figure as the sun rises, there might be some shots along Route 66. I just stopped at this really small hotel with these great colors, uh, and the doors and windows are lit up by some of the ambient light in the parking lot. So just taking some shots here, and I'll move on. I made more progress eastward. Uh, I stopped at a town called Santa Rosa, New Mexico. Uh, small town, Route 66 does go through it. I'm not on 66 the whole time. Mostly I'm on Route 40, by the way, which is a pretty big highway. It can go 75, 80 miles an hour, so it's fast. But I thought this town was kind of cool. A little downtown area, you can see some of it behind me. So I will uh, grab my camera and uh, and get to get some shots here.
Well, I am on the outskirts of Tucumcari, New Mexico. Uh, great old town. I heard great things about it from a photographic standpoint. Uh, just taking some shots just on the outskirts of town before I head into town. See behind me, there's this old kind of trading post uh, that looks pretty interesting. The light's not perfect, but the sun is, uh, is starting to rise a little bit. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I've already driven about uh, 90 miles. So uh, let me grab my camera, get the right lens, and we'll uh, take some shots. Well, this old trading post is really cool. There's ample opportunity for still life shots here, some close up images. So I'm using my 24 to 70 lens and trying to get some close up shots here of uh, some of these cool artifacts. the old buildings on Route 66 are kind of filled with graffiti. So when you find one that's uh, fairly clean, like the one in back of me, you know, your, your, your instinct is to stop and take some shots. Uh, just love the old historic uh, lettering on it. It's good stuff. Well, there are whole swaths of this town that are just sort of deserted. I mean, it's slightly depressing, but uh, intriguing to look at and kind of wonder what the history of this town is as well. Uh, there's more stores that are closed, at least in this section of the town, that are open. Well, I am still in Tucumcari, New Mexico, and it is truly incredible. It's, uh, it's almost like a living ghost town. There's uh, so many remnants of a past that at some point must have been very impressive and very interesting. And uh, it's just kind of uh, just a skeleton now, practically, of a town. Uh, there's no traffic. There's no people. It's, uh, it's pretty bizarre. It makes for a great spot to stop and shoot. Kind of look around me, it's uh, fairly deserted, but the architecture and the, um, the colors are pretty cool. So I'm still here. I'll be here for a while, I think. Well, I stopped at a town. I'm not actually sure you can call it a town. Uh, maybe a former town uh, called Glen Rio. It's on the border of New Mexico and Texas. Uh, there's really not much left here. It's a bit of a ghost town, which again, could make an interesting subject to shoot, but uh, it's only about two or three blocks. So I'll 
be here kind of quickly get some shots. A lot of no trespassing signs. That's not going to scare me too much. Another small town I hit, Adrian, Texas. Uh, really just two blocks. Uh, there's an old um, gas station here. One interesting feature, let me show you the uh, what I'm looking at. Well, this is called, called the Bent Door Midway Station. And you can see why it is called the Bent Door Midway Station. We're at the midpoint of Route 66, by the way down the street there's Midpoint Cafe. I was hoping to get a cup of coffee, but it is closed. Uh, probably won't take too many shots here. I'll, uh, I'll move on to my next location. I need to get something to eat and drink, so. So I'm heading towards Amaria. I'm going to stay there tonight, but I uh, stopped in another town called Vega, Texas. Kind of a small farming town, but I found this great old um, hotel, motel, right on Route 66. You can see it's a lot of vacancies. Uh, there's like one or two cars here, but I just love this subject. Uh, looking this way, the sun's you're hitting that, and just the uh, symmetry, simplicity, and the colors are fantastic. So here's a shot I just took. Well, good morning. I stayed in Amarillo last night. I think I called it Amarillo in a previous clip. Sorry, that was a stupid mistake. Um, my first stop is a place called the VW Bug Ranch. And it's basically this uh, spot where there's a whole bunch of VW bugs kind of buried in the ground, sticking up, all spray painted. Uh, but in this area, there's several old hotels and some pretty cool signs as well. So, uh, sorry, a little buggy here. Um, I figure I would uh, come in and shoot. It's not even sunrise yet, obviously. It's pretty dark, but there's, there's kind of an abandoned hotel with one car that would make a, for a cool subject before I, I'm not sure I'm gonna even shoot those, those cars, but uh, I'll try this one. So I am in McLean, Texas. I uh, had an interesting drive out here. The uh, light kept changing. I pulled over a couple times to take some shots. Here they are. Uh, McLean is a uh, another small town, mostly uh, farming community, I guess. And it's very quiet this morning. It's still only about seven o'clock. I don't think it's ever that busy here, honestly. And so uh, I'm gonna grab my camera and probably just walk around and try to get some shots of this uh, this cool town. Well, one issue I have is that that sky is much brighter than these buildings, and so it's a pretty wide dynamic range. So you can do several things. I could get uh, a filter out, and uh, a graduated filter, and so I would darken the sky, but I might try that. Um, I could take a couple shots at different exposures, blend them together in Photoshop, what I'm doing at this point, I'm letting the sky just get blown out because uh, it's not interesting anyway. And so I can really focus on the stores, get those properly exposed. Uh, less distractions uh, with the sky anyway. Now 
Next stop, Shamrock, Texas. Another small town. I'm gonna be here for just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna head into Oklahoma after this. Well, I made it to Oklahoma. I think it's my first time uh, setting foot in this state. I've flown over it. I don't think I've ever been to Oklahoma. So, uh, fantastic. First, first for everything. Um, it's a small town called Eric, Oklahoma. I'm not gonna be here long because there's not much to, uh, to look at, but really quiet, small town. I think I'm gonna see a lot of these as I go through Oklahoma. I'm not gonna stop at every one, but uh, this is the first one, so I figure I'd stop and look around. Well, as I walk through town, I realize there's not one store open in this town. I mean, maybe it's early still, but uh, it's a little eerie, or Eric, I should say. Well, I'm making my way across Oklahoma, and I uh, just had to take a break, so I stopped in a town called Okima, small town, uh, just looking around a bit, trying to grab something to eat, but I did come across this great theater across the street here called The Crystal. I don't think it's an operation anymore, but just trying to get some shots of that. I stayed in Joplin, Missouri last night and uh, another early start and I'm going to hit some small towns as I get through uh, Missouri, Illinois today and into Indiana. That's the goal, to stay in Terre Haute. I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure, uh, but a town in Indiana. But I stopped in a town called Sarcoxy. Again, I may be saying it wrong, but a uh, small town outside of Joplin. Uh, nice little square, I'm kind of looking around, so I'll uh, get some quick shots here and then move on. I just pulled off the highway, quick stop in Mount Vernon, Missouri. There's a Mount Vernon right near me in New York. I'm sure there's a lot of Mount Vernons. It's one very famous one in Virginia. Uh, this is just another small town, but I'm gonna do a quick stop here and uh, I'll be to take a couple shots and keep heading east. Well, I took a little detour as I'm heading east in Missouri. Uh, just happened to luckily go down this road. There's a lot of uh, open meadows and farmland and it's really foggy, uh, even though it's, I don't know, probably nine o'clock in the morning. You know, the road itself is kind of interesting, but as I look out and I see some trees and rolling hills, I'm stopping to get some shots. Here are some of the best shots uh, that I got on this little detour of mine. I am in Lebanon, Missouri. Great small town with a with a nice downtown street here. Just had a great breakfast at the lunchbox. Met some really nice people. Took some pictures inside. I'll show them to you now. And uh, I'm ready to move on.
Well, I'm still in Lebanon. I'm heading back to the highway and I saw this uh, pretty cool structure in back of me. I should probably know what it is. I don't know if it's a grain silo of some sort, but uh, I'm gonna go take some shots of it. You know, I know an architect did not spend a lot of time thinking about the elegant design of that uh, big structure back there. And I know it's really just utilitarian, but despite that, I find it really interesting to look at and fun to photograph. Well, I am heading east. I stayed in Terre Haute last night and uh, going to go past Indianapolis and then into Ohio and I got a foggy morning here in Indiana so I'm driving down some country roads just trying to get some shots uh, nothing fantastic but some interesting images I've made a couple detours in the fog, just kind of going down some side streets. And as I'm driving, I'm trying to, one, watch the road, but two, keep an eye out for anything interesting. And I did come across this really cool looking barn, so I had to get my long lens out. Um, and I got this shot, it's pretty cool. Well, I made good progress in the last couple days. I am in western Pennsylvania, so only about uh, only five hours to go before I get home. It's my last day on the road. It's supposed to rain most of the day. Probably won't take a ton of shots, but if I see something on the road that uh, inspires me, I'll obviously get out and grab it. Um, I am in Bedford, Pennsylvania right now. Very charming small town. Uh, really just to get some breakfast. Probably not doing much shooting here. So as I drove through Pennsylvania, I did go through Amish country, which had some great farmland and barns in it. Well, I did the whole trip in seven days. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I think I got some really good images. It took me a while to get through them, but I was very pleased with them. Um, hey, if you like this video, make sure you give me a like, thumbs up. Uh, and if you like this kind of content that you see on my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And until next time.